Marcus's is present arrived today. Got a present for you, dude. This is for joining the Miata Club once again. I already opened it because I didn't know what it was until I saw it. So go ahead, dude. You ready for this? I'm not, but... Oh! <laughs> do you know what it is yet? I do. <laughs> I do. So if you guys are OG enough, like super, super OG, this you guys like know. I lost this. You, you know? lost it. I lost it. Like the first one I had, I lost it. I don't, it was in Connecticut somewhere uh -huh. and now it's not. It so. took me a solid 20 minutes to find that online. Cause I had no idea what to type in. I think I yeah. ended up typing like, um, beer tab, wave, shift That's knob. literally all you type in. Yeah. But yeah. So there it is, man. This is what Marcus's shift knob used to be. And I was, at, I actually found that because I'm trying to make a video of like all my past drifting and like where I started to where I am now. And I saw that shift knob in one of the videos. I'm like, dude, this is gonna be a great addition. So the inserts are coming in. I don't know if that insert will be good. So I Honestly, have- what I was gonna do is you take this off. Uh-huh. And then I think it's like right about here. You cut it yep. and you just thread that. Yeah, I ha I have the Miata inserts coming in. I have okay. like 20 of them. So like if you ever want to make something else, we have that yeah. too. They just haven't arrived yet, but Sick, hell yeah, no problem, man. All right, boys. Well, we're filling up the GTR with some E85 right now. $1.49, that is killer. The reason why we're filling up the GTR is because we have a very special race. If this video goes the way I think it's going to go, then you probably already know from the title. Now, this wasn't my intention on making this video today. I was actually just saving it for a rainy day, but turns out, it's a bit windy, so I'm gonna hide. Turns out, I called the machine shop. They were supposed to have my engine done last week on Friday. They just got super busy, so they haven't gotten to my engine yet, so I'm gonna be able to pick it up this Friday. So, there's nothing really to do on the Miata. I got some parts coming in the mail, and I'm, I'm waiting on the new engine and everything, so today, I think we are racing a Tesla and I am so excited. Um, I've wanted to do this ever since I raced that P100D, I think they're called, the really, really fast one. And my buddy has one. He's got like one of the slower models. So I think this is gonna be a good start to this Tesla series. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to get further than this. I don't know how fast it is, but we're gonna find out. My GTR makes 500 horsepower like you guys know, but we'll talk about it more when we actually get to the car. So Jack, I got a question for you. I got a race lined up right now with this thing. Here's this? your water. Yeah. You're gonna win. Well, you don't even know what it is. I don't need to know. Okay. Come on. It's a Bugatti. You're gonna win. <laughs> okay. No, but it's a Tesla Model 3. Ooh, I think a it's Model 3. Yeah, I think it's the slowest model though. Hmm. But I think that's perfect for what I want to do it because like if I beat I, this one, I go to the next step. I think Model 3s in like ludicrous mode still run like 11. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, but I don't know if the new one has or the the slowest yeah. one has ludicrous. Oh, I think they all have some kind kind of ludicrous mode. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. But we're gonna be doing a dig and like a thirty roll. You know what so, else has ludicrous mode? No, that doesn't have it ludicrous. Does. Mode. What I are you swear. talking about? I swear you you, are you trying to tell me that that truck's faster than my truck? Because I think that we might you have, have to ludicrous make ludicrous mode. I I can make ludicrous mode tomorrow if we'll, that's what you're trying to do. We'll figure that out. Yes. You're yes. calling me out on a race. I'm is what you're saying? Out. I'm calling you out. Throw down in the comments right now. I mean. I can put this sucker on performance mode. I got some mods that you don't even know about. 7.3 versus 6.7, we'll see. That'd be fun. A lot, a lot of Ford guys are gonna be fighting in the comments for sure, yeah, but let Chevy, us know. Chevy guys are butthurt, but I'm gonna beat Shaw next. You think so? After I beat you. He ain't gonna beat me, we'll see tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, this. So you're gonna go run a Tesla? Yep. Okay. Today, he's actually on his way What's here right race, now. quarter mile or? I guess so. I don't know, like like mile? zero to 120. You're, uh, you're gonna win. You think so? You're gonna win. I hope so because uh, if it if it really is the slowest one, I don't know that for a fact. We're gonna find run, out. Didn't you run one like a little friendly race one time? Um, I did run one. I think it was. I think. It was a stranger. Yeah, I think it was the P100D, which is oh, the really, really fast one, and yeah. we were neck to neck, 60 to 140. Like literally, I didn't pull on them once. You should handle a, a Model Three. Let's hope so. I think so. Let's think, hope so. Especially if you go out. See, the Model 3 is going to get you out of the hole. Well, that's why I want to do the launch, because yeah. he has the advantage there. They don't spin at all. They, they just they hook, they because every hook. wheel has a motor. Not only does every wheel have a motor, but they weigh like 4,000 pounds. Actually, I think his is the rear-wheel drive model. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but they still hook so good because of all that battery weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they don't have trouble with traction at okay. all. 
Well, I think you, it's gonna be interesting. You got a little trouble. No, this thing hops. If I launch it, she's a hopper for sure. Well, I think I think if you play your cards right, make every shift, you're gonna come out on top. My prediction for the race. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> out of the hole he's going to get you by like a half a car you're Ooh. gonna be at his door Ooh. third gear though i'm going it's over i'm gone it's over so i'm gonna be playing catch up yeah that's your observation, that's my observation. i like that i like catch up i guess well i do I like, like ketchup like ketchup mustard. and fries <laughs> let's just wait till he gets here all right jack well the tesla just showed up okay now i mean so this one is the slowest one it's the rear wheel drive one okay. one motor Okay. You, you, you think I got the gold on this one? I think so. Yeah. I mean, hey, look, no offense, but <laughs> this is, this is, this is like, this is not the fastest example. <laughs> right? It is, it is good know. looking though. I will say that, Four man. Teslas are pretty quick. Yeah. But if we're going to really compare, this is the fastest that Nissan had. Yeah. Well, uh, is it though? The R35 is pretty fast. Well, let me rephrase that at the time. At the, oh yeah yeah you know at the saying? time this yeah was, this was nissan's big big push yeah right? godzilla this was godzilla yeah. right so as far as teslas go this is more entry level mm -hmm. dare i say but at the same time i think this car is gonna, gonna jump out on you out of the i hole. think it's still gonna surprise everyone gonna for surprise sure everyone. i think it's gonna be jumping out of the hole yeah do these cars have like ludicrous mode and stuff? No, not the Model 3. No. They don't, no. What do they come with? Yeah, so the Model 3 doesn't have ludicrous mode or anything like that. But I think, like I said, I think it's going to surprise us and everything. And I'm pretty excited to race it. So let's just get to Mexico. And Jack's got $500 on the Tesla. And I got $500 in my car. So get ready to give me 500 bucks. You got 500 bucks? How did I get 500 bucks? No, you got $500 that the Tesla's going to win. I have $500. I, I do? The, yeah, you do. Damn, I didn't know I made that bet. <laughs> All right, let me go get your cash. All right, thanks. All right, boys. Well, the time is now. We are rolling up with the Tesla at a launch. Can't go to a roll? Huh? Can't go to a roll? Yep. Ready? Wait, is that? Yeah, I think we're good. You have you have a horn? Yeah, yeah. All right, on the third beep, on your beep, OK? On three. Yep. One, two. <laughs> up on the launch we kind of had them right off rip which yeah. i'm pretty pumped on so like the best advantage that tesla had was from a dig i mean i guess we'll do a roll real quick just to do it oh oh oh, oh. <laughs> so the gtr she's a wee bit laggy so um at that third beat, I was just loading and he was moving because like the test, sorry I spit on you. <laughs> That's okay. The Tesla, man, you put the foot to the floor and it's just going. So, I mean, that's it. So all in all, we beat the Tesla base model. Now we need to find the next Tesla up. And if we beat all of them, we can make it, we can make our way to the P100. I think I already raised the P100, but what my friend in the back was telling me was, you, in order to get the, the P100 to its fastest mode, you actually need to shut the car off and then turn it back on in the like crazy ludicrous mode. So as people don't usually drive with that because it takes up a lot of batteries. So unless they're racing, they're not usually just driving around like that. So I don't know, man. Let us know what you guys think down in the comments. And um, I think he's going to let me drive it now. So that should be fun. All right, guys. So we just fast forward it into the Tesla. I just bought my new car what are you thinking of this I'm thing i'm so excited you've never even been in one of these no this is crazy how like how weird feeling is it it feels good it's super futuristic like the fact that there's like nothing right here and it's just this big screen it's a Love it's it. it's almost a little scary no here hold this i right. need to like remember how to drive this um he just i just guap that in 30 grand like whatever you know but i think it's one nope that's neutral Okay, let's drive. 
All right, we gotta go up. So let's go back to park. Whoa. Up. Oh no. There Can we, we go. Said? <laughs> oh. oh, this is scary. We, oh, oh, we're moving. My God. <laughs> How weird is this? I really just want to do the self-driving and show you. All right, we're in drive. Let's hit it. <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. I'm speechless. No, oh. I'm speechless. So like you don't, a lot of the times you don't have to hit the brakes because it has, um. Like automatic sensors? Well, it has self-braking. So like when you're, when you let off the gas, the engine actually, because the engine's on the wheel and it actually slows it down for you. And it will actually regen the battery. So like if I let off, the car slows down. Like I'm not hitting the brake. Wow. Isn't that weird? Yep. And that keeps your battery more charged. How weird is it that there's just no sound? It's so quiet. Like, like it's how freaky. That, that brake is crazy, right? It really is. Like, so ready, you're watch. not pressing ready? any brake. Nothing. Wow. And I wonder if it will scan <gasps> the car. And look at that. Well, that's the self-driving. Like once it can um, see the lanes and everything, you can actually do self-driving. And that's what we're gonna do in a second here. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah. I want you to get one. Oh. She's got some pet. Whoa, yeah. the whole brake thing is like really weird to me. Yeah, that's something to get used to. I don't, I, it's like I forget how to drive when I drive this thing. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. So we're gonna do two clicks down. Yeah. <gasps> we're in. <gasps> we're driving. I'm not doing nothing. It's just going. I'm kind of scared. So your foot is not on the gas? No, I'm not doing anything. Just driving down the road, having a good time with my girlfriend, you know, just, we're just talking. <laughs> you want to play some Dragon Veil? Vale? <laughs> yes. Just, I mean, you're not supposed to do this. I shouldn't advertise that, but like, I think every 45 seconds, it actually, it'll start beeping at you. And this is a new update. Whoa, it's slowing it down. It even knows the cones on yeah. the road. Well, I think there's like a bunch of cameras and stuff around it. There I don't is. know like too much about these things. I just know that they're really cool. <laughs> That's all I know. I've never done research on them or anything. Just... I want to see the dog feature. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how to show you that, but. No, I think you have to click that button or um... something. Something in there. Like you can't even hear the AC and like you can feel it just going. You no, know? it feels good in here. This is crazy. We're, we're just... Oh, see, that's that. So you have to touch the wheel and move it a little. What? Wait, why? Just so it knows that you're paying attention to the... To the so every 45 seconds Every you have to 45 do that. seconds. Like when these first came out, that didn't really matter. Jeez. Jeez, we almost hit that cone over there. Self-driving is not doing too well. No, trust the Tesla. Uh, I, I, I mean, this is my first time, but when these first came out, they just let you go down the highway with nothing. And like... I guess people would fall asleep at the wheel and they didn't want that. So now they make it so every 45 seconds you have to touch it. That's a little excessive. It is a bit excessive. Like if I'm self-driving, I want to take a nap, you know? <laughs> like I'm one of those guys. Like let's just go to Connecticut. Like I am the reason why they did that 45 second thing. Yeah, for sure. This is crazy though, I don't even drive it. It does have a lot to learn though. Like when I first heard Tesla, I thought that you can just put something in on the GPS and you can kind of drive anywhere you want. That's not the case. It has to be a street road. Yeah. And he just said a new update's coming out for it that it can actually start to read um, the stoplights. Cause usually, or before that update, um, if there was a red light, it couldn't read it and it wouldn't stop. It would just go through the red light. So you would actually have to hit the brake and start driving again. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah it doesn't. I just think it's so cool that we're not doing nothing. I didn't realize it showed all of that cool stuff. Yeah. Like it knows that the Tesla everything noobs. around us. We are the Tesla noobs. See, that's kind of annoying. That's really annoying. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like that. We're really <laughs> close to that guy. <laughs> Tesla, like, I wonder if you put your blinker on, if it... No, Wait, don't right. throw the thing off. Well, I'm just gonna... Whoa! What are you doing? I just took it off self-driving. Okay. Okay, uh, Chris. Unavailable. He is unavailable. There we go. We're back on. So it doesn't doesn't turn for you. If you put your blinker on, it's not gonna merge for you. <laughs> we know that now. 
So you didn't hit the brake just now? No, no, no. It, it calculates how far you need to be to each car and it will brake and gas. Like, I don't, I'm not, like, when you're in autopilot, you don't do anything unless the autopilot messes up and you need to correct it. I will say that when I just put my hands on the wheel and, like, I took it out, it was, it was a bit jerky. It was, like, fine, have it back, bitch. Like, oh. that's what the Tesla said to me. Oh, it's got an attitude. It, it, it had a little bit of an attitude problem, I'm not gonna lie. I like that. Yeah, she's a sassy bitch. Sassy, sassy. girl. So yeah, we're just sitting in my new Tesla. I didn't buy this actually. I, I mean, I, th I, think, I think that's, that's pretty yeah, obvious. Yeah, I think that's pretty clear. Um, a lot of people, they're going back between the ND Miata and the Tesla. Whoa, 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 right. whoa, what is going on? For the rest of this drive, okay. it's unavailable. Help! <laughs> I don't know what to do. Give me the wheel back. Wait, Chris, right. that was no, scary. We're fine. we're fine. It just, she's a sassy No, bitch. so if that happened to me and I was driving this, <laughs> like red you imagine? And stuff? <laughs> I would Anyways, actually have a heart attack. Um, a lot of people are going back and forth. Like, am I getting an ND Miata or am I getting a Tesla? Those are some pretty good observations. I'm not going to lie. I do want both of those. I mean, it could be something else. I will say this. I have been messaging this guy for the past four days, and Courtney's actually been calling me a stalker because I found his Instagram. I found his, like, Facebook <laughs> information and stuff, calling a bunch of phone numbers. I finally got a hold of him today. And then he was like, sorry, man, it's sold. The car's sold. Take it off the marketplace. <laughs> like, Courtney, how excited I've been the past few days about this car. No, yeah, you And it's like, it. the dude, like, took my heart out of my chest and snapped it in half. Mm -hmm. That's what that dude did. So F you. <laughs> I'm not going to say your name, but F you. I know you're not watching this either because you didn't follow me on Instagram. Yeah, I know. But, yeah, that is our Tesla experience. I'm still trying, I think I'm just gonna end up going to a dealership and getting the car. Um, Cause I can't, I can't find one. They're, they're super hard to find in the color I want and the spec I want. And it's, it's not working. So I might just buy this instead. And Courtney will be forever happy. Yes, please. I do have to do a little launch real quick before we give this back to him. Cause I just want to feel the cheese, you know? Okay. So this is the slowest Tesla, as I said 17 times in this video. This is really cool. I love the self-driving. I don't I don't know how I feel about that assistant braking. I mean, you can turn it on and off, but all right. You ready for this? Ready. Three, two, one, blast off. Instant power, instant torque. It just keeps, it keeps pulling. That feels really good. For like being the slowest one, I mean, what did you think? <laughs> You're not impressed. <laughs> I think I'm used to being in I mean, all your fast I, cars. I, no, I'm not. I'm trying to forget all of those. I'm, okay. Like, like for electric car, like it kind of okay, it, it yeah. puts you back a little bit. I can feel my kneecaps really lifting off my body here. Just. Oh, I wasn't ready. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you said, oh. <laughs> like it's, it's a good feeling. I like this thing. Throw down in the comments if I should buy a Tesla because that's definitely on my bucket list here. And it might just be the car that we're talking about. Marcus Parks is right there. Yo, you like my car? No, I fucking hate it. I just traded it for the GTR. Dude. Cool. Huh? Boost. Let, boost. Let's give his car back. All right, Jack, pay up. What happened? I won. I gotta go back and think. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta review the tape. I just don't remember. I'll tell saying... you what. You owe me five hundred dollars right now. But we, when we race tomorrow, if you beat me, I'll give you five hundred dollars back. Really? Are you that confident? I mean, yeah, I'm that. Confident. Oh, okay. So you're yeah. calling my truck slow. I mean, I'm not calling. It slow. You know what? Well, I'm I gotta. Saying, I'm just saying the good old boys is seven three. Yeah. Well, yours I got a Tesla is... killer behind me. Yours, so. Your, what's yours? A six. Six seven. So, oh, man. Got to turn them yeah, but I got I got that cab, dude. I got that ultimate airflow. That's true. Okay. Aerodynamics, right. dude. Right. You know what I mean? All right. Let's see. Let's yeah. see. All right. But guys, so, I so oh? this so just out of curiosity. Okay. I didn't go to see the race. So, at a dig, yeah. um, we probably went zero to eighty. I got them um, by like two and a half cars right off rip. Okay. What In, gear did you start pulling them? 
Um, no, no, right off rip I had them. Oh, you did? On the dig. Really? Yeah, I, I, I kind of messed up on the dig because I kind of just popped the clutch out, but it was fine. Did, did he jump you? I think I jumped him a hair. Really? Oh. <laughs> so, um, That's impressive. the dig, zero to 80. We got him by two and a half cars. Okay. The 20 roll, he was pulling on me. Oh, 20 roll. Because I, I was, no, yeah, I was no, bogging hard. That torque. Exactly. But like right on top of second, I started catching up third. I just buried by and just went over and I just cut it there because there's no point to just keep going, you know. Jeez. But he said at about 100 miles per hour, this model in particular kind of falls on its face. Right. So it's like from zero to 100, they're quick. So but that, after you that, that. You need that P100D. We, well, we just need the next one in line. I mean, if it. If it so happens that someone has a P100D that wants to race next, I'm down I to think, just cut the line. Let me let me let me just say, I think I can arrange it. Yes. I know a guy. Please, have please get ever, him here. Have you ever seen Drag Times, the YouTube channel? No. I'm gonna reach out to my buddy Brooks. Please get me in touch, cause I would love. I got you. I don't even care if I lose. I just I want to lose. Okay. I want to lose. I just want to see by how well, bad. I can tell you honestly, if you're gonna lose to one, it's gonna be him. Okay. I guess we'll find out. Let's if you guys see. are stoked on that video, definitely leave it down in the comments. But I think we're gonna end the video right here, guys. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. These things will always be in my heart, man. I love these cars. They're so much fun. They are weird to get used to for sure. That was my second time ever driving a Tesla. I think I was much more comfortable with this one, but it was fun, man. It was a blast.